Hello my friends, I am heading to the overnight shelter as you saw in the title. Um, I'm going just with a hammock this time, just by myself, solo only, and I'm not bringing the wagon. I am bringing just the U.S. military backpack and I'm hiking up the mountain. I've tried to consolidate as much as I can. Some of the weight is cameras, batteries, tripods. It's stuff that I need to be able to bring you with me. So other than that, I feel like I have cut back quite a bit. So we're bringing in 56 pounds up that mountain. So that's a lot, I know, and I know a lot of it um, is going to be tough to get up that mountain, but I'm going to see what I can do. I'll just take my time and get up there and cross the fingers nobody else is there. So it'll be a long walk back down the mountain if somebody else is at the shelter. So um, I'll see you when I get there. Well, we are here at the entrance, and so we're gonna go ahead, put off 56 pounds on the back, and head up the mountain. I'll see you there. Here we go. We made it. <sighs> Whew. That was a workout. Well, we are here. It don't look like um, anybody's here. There's nothing here, but somebody was definitely here today. The fire pit itself is still a little warm. It looks like somebody cleaned up since the last time I was here. Hopefully our trail camera is still here. So I'm going to go ahead and get some stuff done and get that hammock hung and I'll be back in a little bit. That was a hike for sure, with that, especially with all that weight. But I made it. Okay, one of the things that we added to this camping trip is an air mattress. Pick this up, not an overly expensive one, but like I said, I'm just trying this stuff out. I'm not sure I'm really going to like it. I think I am. I'm really having a great time, don't get me wrong, but I want to go as less as I can for right now until I really feel like this is something that I'm going to go ahead and do. So that, and I picked up one of these little mini pumps to be able to blow this up and to blow up a pillow. I had the pillow the last time I was here but it's kind of a um, different style material and it really wasn't all that comfortable. So I went ahead and I had a pillow made up and it even has a drawstring so it could be more multi-purposing. So I got that. So let's go ahead and get this mattress blown up and um, get this set up in the hammock and that way there we can get started on getting some more stuff ready. It's funny because I always struggle getting all this stuff back in the bags. So that ought to be fun getting that back in the bag. So let me get this all laid out and I'll be right back. First off, it doesn't appear to be that wide, but that's all right. I guess it's a little bit better than what it was the last time. Like I said, the last time it was very uncomfortable lying on the just that foam pad. So, go ahead and open up this 
pump. And as I'm using these products, I'll definitely keep you guys, um, depending on how things go, if they work out really, really well, and I'll go into a little bit more detail on how what this different stuff is and what the brand names are and stuff like that. I'll give you a little bit of a review if, if the product works out really well. Okay? All right. Well, this is the pump. Okay. So we got to figure out what this comes with multiple nozzles. And we just got to figure out which one, which one attaches to. So... See, that goes on like that. Oh, it's got a light. Let's figure out how to turn the pump on. <laughs> Okay, this is what we got. I got it all aired up. I'll shorten up the video. I know this probably came out a little long, but I'll fix that in the editing. But this is what we got. We got our pillow. We have our pad. Now let's go ahead and get it up, set up in the hammock and um, get on to the next thing. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get this hammock set up. As you can see, right here on that pillar and right there is where I'm hoping to be able to hang the hammock. If not, I don't know, we're going to step two. What's step two? Probably heading back down to the truck. So let's go ahead and get this hammock figured out and get it hung up. All right, let's get to it. All right, I think I got it hung up right. I'm not positive, but I have put my weight in into it already and it didn't fall down. So it came with a rain fly, but I don't need that. I don't need the stakes for that either because I'm inside. So I put that stuff away. So let's go ahead and finish getting some stuff ready now that we got this ready. Okay, here we go. This is what we got our setup. We got our pillow. I just have a blanket in here for right now. It's pretty, it's on the warmer side today. 
I have a sleeping bag. If I feel like the temperature drops out, I can switch into that. Okay, well, the bed's done, shelter's done. We're good for that. So let's move on to the next thing. I wanted to head, go ahead and show you, these are some of the things I brought back this time because I really enjoyed using them. As you can see, the, the um, headlamp worked out really well. You never saw me actually using it, but first thing in the morning when I had to go out and look for Tinder, I had to use it. And of course, I brought this heater this time. Didn't bring the other one. Um, that one, I just didn't need two, so I only brought the one. This light I used um, in right after it got dark, and it pretty much lit up the whole campground. Um, for my cell phone, I had this little cheap, inexpensive little battery pack, and that worked out really well for able, to be able to charge my phone and to be able to um, charge the cameras. Now, you're probably asking why another light. Well, this one is solar and has these nice little handles on it, it and it also has a little crank up on top to be able to get more power from it. But the other thing is, is that it also can charge your camera and your cell phone as well. So that worked out really, really well. This little pot that I brought the last time worked out really well too, so I brought that back. And then, of course, I brought the Hooli Man folding saw. So far, out of, so far out of the ones I've made about folding saws, I'm really impressed with the Hooli Man. Quite impressed with that one. So, now let me show you the products I brought this time to maybe make it a little bit easier. Okay, the first thing I brought different this time is I went ahead and I picked up myself a Fisker's Hatchet. I'll be trying this out and I'll give you a review later on what I think of that. I brought this small, compact Gerber bow saw. I want to try that out. I figure for the bigger wood this might work out a little bit better. Of course I brought the, you already saw that, I brought the um, mattress pad and of course the little pump. But probably the biggest thing, and it actually weighs a little bit, I wasn't sure I wanted to bring this, but this is made by Swiss Tech, and this is a um, light. It is solar, and you can charge your phone on it, and then it has multiple ports for charging different um, accessories. So it has the cell phone, the old school phone, and then two other jacks. Um, for charging as well so that would be good for my cameras so this weighs a little bit though this is wasn't sure I wanted to bring this because of the weight but hey you go with the flow um, so that's the stuff I brought this time so I don't think it's an over a lot of stuff I didn't I did bring two items that are the same you know I brought two saws and of course I brought multiple lights but um, we're gonna go ahead and, and we're going to try some different products. You know, I mean, you might not see me using them, but maybe you'll see them in a future video. So let me go ahead and put you in the tripod and get right back. Now, I went ahead and I told you this time we're going to be trying some different things. So one of the things that we're going to be doing this time is we're not going to traditionally make the fire the way I did the last time. I have never made them before, but they're called straws, curdles, where you take your knife and you shave and get the little um, bundles of chips and stuff like that. And I want to try to use those. Because if there is no white birch around and you need a multiple source and you don't have the old man's beard and you can't find material, you probably can find a piece of dry wood and be able to make the chips. I've never made them, so I want to try to make those and get a fire going this time. And the second thing is, is I didn't bring water. And you're probably saying, why didn't you bring water? Well, there's water sources around, and what I brought with me this time is a bottle that's meant to be able to filter out the contaminants that you're, that you're, that's in the water. Why did I want to do that? Because water can be very, very heavy, and I'm really trying to get my backpack weight down. What I brought today, next time I'm going with even, I, I, let's just say at least 10 to 15 pounds lighter next time. I want to get down down to the basic stuff. 
you know, the hammock probably, um, the pad, the really basic stuff. So that's what this video is going to be about. We're go I'm probably not even going to show you processing firewood and all that other stuff. I'm going to go ahead and I'll show you how to get the fire going with those chips. I will show you how to do the water. But as you remember, the last time I was up here, I went ahead and set up the trail camera. So what I'm going to do is in between me talking and me talking about what I'm doing or whatever, I'm going to show you clips of what we picked up on the trail camera. If we didn't get nothing, then I'm going to show you all the great shots of the great nature that I can find in and around the shelter. So that's what this video is going to be about this week. Not the same what it was the last time. I want to try different things. If you want more of the go cut more firewood type stuff, if you want that, let me know in the, in the comments. But I always want to keep fresh. I want to keep different. I want to try different things. So let's go ahead and see what we can find for dry wood and see if we can make those curls. Okay, well, it's starting to rain, so wasn't supposed to rain until tomorrow, so I did find a good piece of dry maple, so I gotta see if I can get this either smaller pieces or see if I can do it this way. I'm not sure. The pieces that, the video, a couple of videos I watched and how to do it, they used a much thicker piece, but I still think this will work. Um, and they also said is make sure you have a good sharp knife, and I have my old timer knife with me today so I think this will do the job let's see if we can go ahead and make some shavings before it rains too much so let's see what we can do I got a little one started, so let's go ahead and collect that and keep it dry. I think we'll need a little bit more than that, but let's just put it right over here and see if we can make a little bit more. Seems like you definitely want to keep this stick is just long enough for me to be able to support it well. doesn't help that I think I picked some, a piece of wood that's got a lot of little knots in it. I'm trying to carve it with a little bit. I think if I'd split it, it might be a little bit better. But it's working. I'm getting some. Of course, I'm dropping them all over the ground as well. So, All right, let me go ahead and make up a pile of these, and I'll be back with you. Well, we just got a brief rain shower, so that's not good. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to lay some pieces of wood on the bottom of the fire pit and then make the fire on top of it. So that way there it burns up through. So almost like a linking logs setup. So I'm going to go ahead and set that up and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to take a few of these. Put them down. Might get a few more. And I'm going to put my shavings right on top, and then my my small twigs and stuff in and around it. So let's go ahead and get that. And this is what I got for shavings made up. Go ahead and get some. Don't know if that's going to start with a ferro rod, but we'll try. Okay, let's see what we can do. With some little sticks right here. I don't know if this is going to start. I don't think it's going to. Not like this. I think I need, they need to be finer. No, I, 
think this is just, I don't think I made it thin enough and small enough. So I'm just going to give it a little bit of a boost. I have, I believe, some old man's beer from the last time I was up here. I've been saving the old man's beard as I find it, and I bring it home and I dry it out. Because when you find it, a lot of times, it's actually um, um, still um, green. It still lights, but it's not 100% the way it should be. So, give it a little extra boost with some of that old man's beard. I think it'll light right up though. Right now, an old man, old man beard, I got it in the spring while I was up here hiking around. So, let's see what we can do. shut the camera off I get it started isn't that the luck all right well we got it going well my friends I ended up getting a fire going but I did fail on the shavings I think it just got too wet they were too thick so I'm gonna have to practice a little bit on that so good old white birch came through so Sounds like rain coming in tomorrow. I am going to spend the night no matter what. I, I'm up here. I'm not going back down now. Um, I just keeping the fire going is going to be a big thing. It kiss me if it comes down a little bit more. Um, just for the fact I've got to cook and stuff. I ended up bringing, <laughs> not that I didn't want to ruin a burger like the last time, but this time I actually brought a steak and I'm going to cook a baked potato hopefully. So, um, I need to get, the, I got the fire going now, I'm going to keep it going, get a good fire going, because it's going to need, the baked potato is going to need a little while for that to cook. So we're going to go ahead and get a good fire going and get that baked potato in there, and I'll be back in a little while. Okay, we got the fire going, so now we're going to go ahead and do step three. Step three being, let's get some water and see how it is drinking it out of one of these. This has a, looks to be like a um, water straw right down the, through the thing. I already go in ahead and cleaned it all out. You're supposed to purge it and get all the stuff out of it. So I've done that. So let's go down and get some water. One for the fire and one for myself. Okay, let's get that drinking water. anything floating. Okay, I'm back at the shelter. Fire's going good. Got the water all filled up for the, to be able to clean up a little bit. And we have our bottle. So, let me tell you a little story real quick before I go ahead and try this water. When I was a kid, so a long time ago, um, we were out sledding during the winter, winter time and it was this old icy road and we went sliding down this hill all the time. And it was just one time, it was a little bit warmer day and I decided that I was going to go ahead and drink out of the creek. Um, Let's just say, without going into too many details, I spent a lot of time in the bathroom. You definitely don't want to drink unfiltered water or water that you come to a boil. I know that for sure. I was even hesitant to even doing this. But the technology's there. They say it's, it's 
way it should be. So let's go ahead and try filtered water. Never done this before. Always got my water out of the tap or out of a bottle that you buy at the store. So cheers. Well, that's the first time I've ever done that. Takes a little effort to get it up through the straw. I will say that, but it's there, you know what I mean? If your life depended on it, you know what I mean? You have to have water. So, you're probably gonna ask, why didn't I just bring water? I, I might have mentioned it earlier, but I'm trying to downsize the amount of stuff I bring. And I thought bringing bottles of water was just add, added weight so I'm trying this and it'll be a lot easier um, now I have my day pack which I've showed you before and now I have my camping backpack so what I want to do is I want to be able to not take away from one to fill the other one and just go back and forth so what I want to do is I want to be able to have enough stuff for both so I'm always prepared so anyway with that I think it's I gotta check the time but I think I'm gonna go ahead and start my dinner the baked potato is gonna stick a little bit longer so I got my embers down a little bit so I can pop that in the fire and go ahead and think about cooking the steak in probably about 15 minutes 20 minutes maybe I'll get that started so let's go ahead and get that tater in the fire Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put my baked potato in right now. And I'll be back, hopefully with a half-cooked baked potato and a steak going on the grill. Well, I might have overcooked the hamburgers but I didn't overcook the steak steak came out perfect uh, baked potato still needs a little bit longer but I'm gonna go ahead and start eating the steak because the potatoes probably needs another 10 minutes at least it was fine up on top but as I started to cut into it it was still a little too hard so I'm gonna eat this steak because I'm a star of it all right I'll see you back in a little while Well, before it gets too dark, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about my future on YouTube. I want to let you know, I know it's only um, November, but I want to let you know what next year is going to bring. I have a lot of things coming up. Um, some I don't want to go into too many details just in case they don't happen, but I got some really, really big things coming next year and I'm really hoping they come true. I'll continue making the same videos I make now, but there's gonna be some different videos coming from me um, in the near future. I'm only, I'm hoping, you know what I mean? There's, let's just say it's a life-changing something coming, and I'm really looking forward to it. Um, a few people you already know, don't leave anything in the comments, because I, I don't know for sure it's gonna happen. I'm praying it's hap it's going to happen. I really want it to happen next year. And now we're getting smoked out. But that's what's going to happen, you know what I mean? Hopefully by the time this video comes out, I have, re I have reached 3,000 subs. Um, it means a lot. It does. Uh, my channel definitely has grown. I think the shorts have definitely helped. Um, having good supporters. Um, like Don over at Bucktails Outdoors, Jamie, um, Jamie's Country Living, um, just so many others. Um, TNT Deer Stalker, Danny, has been with me forever. Um, Hunting Farmer, there's just been so many other people's. Um, I can't think of any, I, I, there's tons of them and I do apologize. This, this isn't a shout out video. 
but I just there's people that have been with me for so long um, it's just I can't believe I'm doing this this long and and I'm hoping next year is really gonna bring some big changes to my channel and that's all I'll say about that so it's getting late um, I did go down and check the trail camera I got a Bigfoot and looks like a deer um, but that's it in a week's time I got one deer and a Bigfoot um, so I'm not sure how long the video will go or not I'm, I'm gonna try to keep it shorter than the last one this was just to go ahead and experiment and try some different things get out of my <clears throat> usual comfort zone sleeping in a hammock is definitely a first time I've ever done that um, trying to get that the shavings to make a fire that didn't work out so well I'll have to practice a little bit maybe later I'll practice on that um, the water I did do that and seems to be fine if you never see this video the water didn't work out so well <laughs> hopefully not hopefully everything works out all right but it tasted fine but you know who knows but with that you guys have a great night and I'll see you guys in the morning Good morning. Wow, it's a brisk, very cold this morning. It got cold, really cold last night, but I'm fine. It's, I kind of got up quite a bit, kept the fire going all night long. Okay, how was the hammock, you want to know? It was okay. I slept better this time. I think a lot of that had to do with that. I wasn't on the hard ground, and I had the mattress pad and that made it a lot more comfortable. I would say probably I want to get a, a heavy duty blanket for camping. Not a big fan of the sleeping bag. When you're in the hammock, you really I felt like you really couldn't move all that much because you're confined in the hammock as it is, but then on top of that you're inside the sleeping bag. So, some improvements just like last time to make. But I um, got a lot of firewood last night why, after I shut the camera off just to keep the fire going. And I can tell I'm shivering, but it's not too bad. I have warmer clothes. Excuse me. I got warmer clothes. Just trying to wake up. I just put some more wood on it. It's a little smoky. So. But I got chores to do this morning, and um, I'll get back to you in a little while. I'm not sure if I'm going to have breakfast. I think I might just go home and have breakfast at home. So I'll let you know when I'm calling it a day or morning. All right. I'll see you in a little while. Bye. Well, while I was out looking this morning for firewood, miscellaneous stuff to be able to put together. I came across a few things. I found some chaga. I confirmed it with my good friend Don over at Bucktails and he says it's definitely chaga. And then the other thing I found there was a rotten log that somebody had been cutting up for a while and I was looking at it and I was wondering there was sections of it that were like chiseled off so I just cut it off and come to find out this is some fat wood see how red it is right there I have actually never seen this before it's it's very very hard and you can definitely tell it's full of sap so I'm gonna keep that and the chaga I'm not really ready to experiment with things like this. So let me give you an update about the filtering the water. So far everything worked out fine. The only thing that I found is that before it got dark 
I should have topped the bottle off because I got thirsty in the middle of the night and didn't really didn't want to walk down to the creek and get water so perhaps maybe I need more than one bottle so but then this morning I did walk down and I got um, some water and I boiled water for a hot chocolate this morning so there's two things I've never done that's well the boiling water thing I've never done that to clear up, clear up the water and be able to use the water I've never done that either so I guess that kind of makes up for not getting the fire going with the wood shavings I guess two things of water and sleeping in a hammock so I don't know I'm gonna finish cutting up a bunch of wood I want to put I there was quite a bit of wood here somebody took the time and cut up a bunch of wood so I'm going to do the same and try to put a bunch back for the next person to show up so not sure how many more camping trips we'll have it's gotten really cold and I guess it's supposed to really get cold next week we're supposed to not get out of the 40s so and there's one day that they actually talk about that white stuff way too early for that but they're talking about it so I'll be back in a little while and probably say I do but you never know what can happen between now and then so I'll see you in a little bit well hello my friends well it's time to go it's been a fun trip a lot of first times and all quite successful except for that shaving of the thing but hey we made up for it we boiled water and we drank it so if you don't get this video we know that that filtration and boiling water trick doesn't work <laughs> just kidding anyway you guys have a great day and I'll see you next time